Yo, yo, yo. And we're live. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the What Did He Said podcast. Uh, really, it's going to be a solo podcast. Really, it's, it's really, really what it's going to be is have a beer with me. That, that's really what it is, man. It's have a beer with me. Um, it's just, you know, we're, we're hanging out. We're shooting the shit. We're having a beer. Take the edge off a little bit. You know, just a little something, something. Uh, here in the studio, man, got my little setup. I'm in, the, I'm in the back cave. I'm in the battle stations. We broadcasting live to the world, to the world, to the world. <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful time to be alive, man, all things considered. So if you're ready to shoot the shit with your boy, go grab your little, little whatever you're sipping on, man, red wine. Whatever y'all, whatever y'all sipping on, man, it could be some hot tea, dog, some nighttime tea with some chamomile and a little bit of that cinnamon honey. It's one of the things I can't live without. But I'm going to crack a beer today. Um, it is March 22nd, Houston, Texas, United States of America, planet Earth. Uh, we're about to sip a beer. Let's enjoy. Today, I'm cracking open something from Alaskan Brewing Company. I believe it's craft i believe it's indie it's a uh, wheat it's a white wit style l brewed with spices it says it's citrusy crisp and refreshing and it's from alaska to you now let's enjoy this little you know what i'm talking about Ugh, get you some i'm gonna go ahead and pour it up in my um my eighth wonder chingo de mayo glass chalice all right, we're just sipping. We're not trying to turn up too much. But ladies and gentlemen, it's just a little, you know, we hanging out, man. We shooting the shit. Hey, un pinche saludo para toda la gente que nos está guachando ahorita de Durango, Monterrey, Bahiermoso, Tamaulipas, Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Baja California, Hermosillo. San Diego, Denver, Colorado, pasa los mushrooms, compadre, con la raza haciendo los burpees, haciendo los pinches pucha, aprovechando del tiempo, el tiempecito de la cuarentena, it's gonna be Easter too, happy Easter, y'all, yeah, we're feeling good, we're feeling great, so, I just want to check in with y'all, man. Uh, I want to go ahead and open up some of these Amazon packages so we could talk about what type of bullshit I've been ordering in the quarantine. <laughs> uh, I bought a little bit of stock in Amazon, too, because I knew motherfuckers was going to be on it. That is not, uh, what is the word? That is not, um, that is not financial advice. I'm not here to give you stock advice. I'm just, you know, speaking in general terms. As to what I did, you know, personally and, you know, whatever. You got to say that shit because if not, then people get pissed. All right, let's open up this first little package, see what I got going. But shout out to y'all, man. Y'all are, uh, y'all, y'all, are, y'all are looking great out there, even though I can't see y'all. Uh, we're, about to, we're about to set up our live system. We're about to get this Wi-Fi all the way cranked up to gamer mode. You know, I know you video game playing motherfuckers know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I really don't play video games, but if there was ever a time, nah, I'm not going to do it. If there was ever a time, now would be the time. But I'm going to talk to you all about some shit that I'm trying to learn and improve while I am in quarantine. While we dodge in the Rona. So let's talk about health a little bit. Uh, this right here, man, this is probably one of the things I can't live without. Because uh, I really fucks with it. This right here is called Athletic Greens. This shit here is made in New Zealand, dog. This ain't even no commercial. This just Chingo opening up his mail, dog. I got to make sure my address don't show up. You know what I'm saying? So, this is actually like a supplement. This is one of the supplements that I use. I first heard about it from a, a podcaster, author, a, a dude I, I uh, tune in to all the time, from time to time. I, I definitely love his books, uh, Tim Ferriss. Uh, and, you know, right now with all this crazy shit going on, he's one of the sources He's like he's like the nerd at Princeton that like or the nerd at school that like you like, man, I want that motherfucker in my study group, dog. Like he be having the answers. So while some people panicking and shit, I'll be like, man, let me go see what uh, Tim Ferriss and Scott Adams and 
you know, Scott Adams or some of these people got to say. But uh, this right here is Athletic Greens. It's a whole food dietary supplement powder. Um, I get the little travel packs because, you know, as of recently, I was on tour. And a lot of my dates got pushed back. You know what I'm saying? We ain't tripping, though. <laughs> we still taking our supplements. They come in these little packs right here. Uh, it don't taste that bad, even though it's green. And I think some of the stuff they put in here is kind of what kind of makes it taste good. It's, it got a shitload of ingredients, bro. If you're one of the folks that uh, watch calories, it's only 50 calories. I honestly didn't even know it was that much. But uh, here's what it has. It has like spirulina. I don't know what the fuck that is. It has organic chlorella powder i don't know what the fuck that is but it sounds good though sound like it's good for you uh a whole bunch of stuff man um so it's nutrient dense extracts herbs and antioxidants it has digestive enzyme and super mushroom complex so enzymes are good for your digestion dog you eating all that you know meat and all kind of tortillas and stuff you need to throw some little uh, little enzyme in there that's that's what the fuck is carbohydrates what Carbohydratos, carbohidiotas, que onda, sas, the enzymes go in there and just start punking the shit out of just fats and protein. Bitch, break down, ho. Break down, ho. We the enzymes. Fuck going on. Heard you over here trying to get stuck. Y'all need to keep this shit moving, pimping. Um, so it's low sugar, low allergens, blah, 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 non-GMO. It's super organic. No artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no sweeteners, no herbicides, no pesticides, but it has probiotics 7 to 7.2 billion probiotics that's the good bacteria you know the good bacteria in your, in your stomach that helps create serotonin which is a chemical that's uh, uh directly related to happiness a lot of times happiness is chemical you got dopamines you got serotonin you got oxytocin actually who oxycontin no oxytocin you got that shit. All that shit makes motherfucking happiness, dog. That's why you need, sometimes you need a little hug, a little, you know, you need some contact. That's oxytocin. Sometimes you go and have fun and kick it with your daughter and your family and your kids. That's dopamine. You feel me? Uh, the gut bacteria, the good bacteria, that helps the serotonins. So, like, for instance, Just, Justin Bieber on his documentary, he said he was depressed. So, I'm sure some people are like, how the fuck you Justin Bieber? You're touring the world. You're doing stadiums. Bitches throwing they, the torta at you. And you depressed? What? It's because the dopamine levels was fucked up. Because they, like, overdid it with the dopamine. You're a little kid and you got all these people screaming your name. It's going to overwork a receptor in your brain. Yo, that's chisqueado, wey. Ahora estás malito. So, basically, I, I, what I do is I open up a bottle of water. Uh, cut this open. I'm not going to do it right now because we sipping beer. And you just tear the little packet, you pour it in, I shake it up. It, it really don't taste that bad. I know some people are like, like that are like real picky. Y'all might have to throw some little honey in there or something. I don't know. But uh, I fucks with it. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good. It's got a ton of vitamins and um, smart motherfuckers recommend it. It has magnesium, which I know helps with uh, rec your body recover. It helps with sleep. And uh, a large percentage of Americans are magnesium deficient so you might want to get you some of that um they're not a sponsor i wish they were i ain't got time to be chasing down sponsors and shit you know we, we ain't worried about that uh shout out to the patrons though because they're bringing this episode to y'all sponsor free commercial free right now we're just shooting the shit i'm just checking in my wife is uh putting the baby to sleep for a nap i just wanted to have a you know sip of beer with my peeps so that's what was in uh package number one and um i mean i can go on and on about this but um Long story short, the way I describe it is like when I'm on the road, or I, I'm busy, or if I know we're having a stressful week, traveling a lot, we got a lot of shows, not right now, but when you have a lot of shows, um, you know, you drink one, and you just feel like you got that little edge, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know you're covering your ass, CYA, motherfucker. <laughs> You gotta cover your ass. Don't be just sitting there getting sick. Be like, man, I ain't know I was responsible for my own body. I ain't know it was up to me to get rest. I ain't know it was up to me to know that putting bullshit in my body all the time is going to somehow make it run fucked up. So here we go. Let's open up another package. Um, this was pretty interesting. 
So it came in a diff- it came in a box, but I unboxed it already. But it's still shrink wrap. So I was like, "Fuck, man! I want to show that item." Um, on the uh on the, on the stream or whatever, for those of y'all that are watching this on YouTube, for those of y'all that are, um, well, first of all, the patrons got it first, but for those of y'all that are watching it, uh, or listening on the uh, podcast app, thank you. And I just want to shoot the shit, man. This is a uh, you know, the quarantine edition. So right now, me and Jimmy Fallon got the same tools, dog. A little webcam, a little cell phone. You know what I'm saying? A little weefy. All right, so this is cool, man. I'm actually, I'm actually getting pretty excited uh, opening this up. They're like, man, he should have started opening it 30 minutes ago because he still ain't. But uh, today we got a little bit of church action, man. We checked out some church via the YouTube, dog. So shout out to the churches. Got their live stream set up. Also, we have a uh, a phone number where you guys can call in and leave a message, even if even if it's not during the. Uh, one second. Yeah, we're gonna order in some food because whatever you want. I think we're gonna do wings. <sighs> For one, we doing a little one little cheap meal per week. You know, because the quarantine. You know, I'm already slimming up, dog. You don't want to lose no muscle during the quarantine. So go ahead and get your little cheat meal. Because uh, you've been keeping it clean all week. You heard me? Okay. So anyway, hold on. I'm recording. One second. I'm recording. Talk to you later. They're like, this is so unprofessional. It's a quarantine, motherfucker. You see what Jimmy Fallon having to do. He got his kids and shit walking in while he's filming, while he's trying to do a fucking monologue on his front porch. Sip my fucking beer. <sighs> That's pretty good. I was saving this for a special occasion. And since we're going live, I mean, you know, since we're recording, this is a special occasion. It says it's brewed with spices, 5.3% alcohol by volume. We sipping responsibly. Uh, go support your local craft brewer, too, your local independent brewery. I'm actually rocking the Eighth Wonder hat right now, and I'm keeping an eye on what these breweries are doing, man. They're um, they're asking for some of the the rules, and the rules that restrict brewers from delivering uh, alcohol to your house, the same way Uber Eats is doing restaurants. They're not allowed to because the current uh, I know in our state it's like TABC Texas Alcohol Beverage Commission. Uh, they don't allow that. So I saw one brewery had a petition. I think they were out of Dallas. They had a petition. They were like, you know, support your local, uh, you know, local small businesses and stuff. So we got to keep the economy going, and, you know, as, in the safest manner possible. Right. Especially if you're over 60, over 65. If you have any other risk factors like diabetes, asthma, uh, stuff like that. Play it safe. If you're going to order in, put on there, have them leave it at the door. Leave it at the door. They text you when it's at your front step. Go out there carefully, you know, get the bag from the bottom because, you know, motherfuckers touch the top. <laughs> you feel me? If you're 60 or 65, bro, this particular virus, uh, it, it tends to affect males more of that age group. And I be calling my dad, too, like, Dad, uh, you know, can I know yeah? Like, how many people, you know what I'm saying, at your spot? Who, who, who's all over there? And I can tell he's lying. Oh, what? Uh, I'm mopping right now to kill all the corona. Like, What? What are you talking about, bro? Anyway, let's open up this package. Let's finish opening it up. Here we go. All right, what we have here, we about to take y'all back into time. So, um, check this out, dog. Get that there, pinche bubble wrap. Penny's going to use that and she'll wrestle with it. So here we have a super throwback. Panasonic. Look at this. I look like I work for the, the news and shit. Acá vienen unos pinches Ninja Turtles, güey. Se metieron en la van y yo andaba con la April, güey. Asas, vámonos. Y, y el pinche Splinter me atacó, güey. Asas, con la pinche navaja. Asas, culero. Asas. This gonna be the uh, thumbnail right here. Ah. Thumbnail. I'm holding a knife. 
So this camera right here, for those of y'all that can't watch me, y'all can't see me, it's an old school mini DV camera. It looks like, uh, it's, like it's like big as fuck. You know, it's retro. It's, I don't know how, 10, 15 years ago when it comes to technology and gadgets, that's fucking retro as fuck. So when I first started in the rap game, is this mini DV though? Yeah, it is mini DV. When I first started in the rap game, um, the my, my team at the time, a part of, big part of my team uh, was a, a cat uh, named David going on. He was my manager for many years. He, he was, we were like two peas in a pod. We we're like best friends and shit for the longest. Um, long story short, you know, as it happens in life, man, you young, you're dumb talking about myself, you know, you, you, you got your ego and shit's, you know, shit spinning out of your control and, and you just feel like everyone's against you and you know, all the shit's going down, shit's hitting the fan. People start playing the blame game and and we you know it's kind of i guess you call like a falling out i guess you know i was a jerk but uh we've 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 met up since then i gotta check up on them after this but um you know they were my uh you know they were he man he managed me but also he had his boy joe colombian joe uh you know he was like the he made sure to capture all the behind the scenes anyway long story short i have many dv tapes from throughout my career like from when I was a youngster I was probably 21 22 starting out with the chingo bling shit evolving failing moving forward failing forward making mistakes trying different shit uh you know turning down certain deals signing other deals making moves you know getting in the media getting some press but then sometimes they try to ask you a little gotcha question you know some journalists are cool some press are cool. Some networks are cool. But every once in a while, you get that one, they just trying to get a story, and they're ah, they trying to get you, and they switch it up on you, and, and it's like, hold up, dog. We was just, we were cool. This whole 30 minutes, I, we took a trip through the hood, and I'm showing you this, and we're going there, and we talking about this, we talking about that. And then we go back to the studio to finish, and then you hit me with the gotcha question. And it's like, oh, okay, not all, okay, that's how the press sometimes be working. But anyway. I don't know how we got on that subject, but uh, I have a ton of mini DV tapes from back in the day. So now it's the technology so old. These computers don't come with a mini DV tape player. They don't even make mini DV tape cameras really anymore, to my knowledge. So we had to buy this off of like eBay. And my boy Frank actually had one of these. He'd, he'd always all our road trips and shit. When Frank started uh, rolling with me and, uh, and having my back and stuff, he'd be a like asleep in the back seat holding this big fucking Terminator 2 machine gun looking as da 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 vamonos pinche robocop da 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 um and then it broke one day he was filming something and I, I can't remember it was like my sister's house I don't know if I like if I tripped over the extension cord something happened it tipped over broke and he's like I think I could fix it but it, it was never fixed and then we had to move on to some other camera but um so, yeah, man, we're going to do a documentary. We got to import all this footage. I don't know when it's going to be out. We got to import all the tapes. And uh, it's one of those projects that, you know, I never used to have time for. It's always like, oh, man, I tried it that way. That didn't work. Or I had this person help me for a while. And then I never picked up the tapes for a long time. And I had to order some other stuff. That didn't work. And then, you know, uh, now I got time. We got time now. We shooting the shit. Check up on your loved ones. We gonna make it through this shit. We ain't tripping. Especially Houston. We Houston strong. Especially Texas. We Texas strong. Especially the U.S. We got the best food supply distribution in the world. Our economy's so great. It's finna come back roaring, stronger than ever. And one time for the human species, we have outlived 99% of all other species. We the top of the food chain. There ain't a cheetah we can't outdrive. There ain't a bear we can't out outshoot. Now this little virus wanna come, you know, start some shit. But we ain't going for that. Pinche virus, culero. So we got all the smartest people working on this one problem. So 
So I would hate to be a virus right now. Because that's your ass, little virus. So as I was saying, we're going to work on a documentary. And that is item number two. I, I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but I know I know that somehow, some way, the theme has to be like evolution and just, you know, growing up, you know, becoming a man, like evolving, keeping the ego in check, you know, uh, uh, failing forward. You know, we all have character flaws, but it's up to us as individuals and, you know, as men um, or whatever, female, whoever you are. Uh, to hold ourselves accountable, you know what I'm saying? And this quarantine about to expose everybody who didn't have a good night routine, who didn't have a good morning routine. We could talk about that as well uh, in the next, you know, coming weeks. But um, people about to get exposed in terms of, like, having to play catch-up. You know, whatever was slacking before, you about to have to, like me, I was behind on getting stuff organized. I'm, I'm not all the way done. But it's like a whole bunch of clothes we kind of got to go through and sort out. A whole bunch of just stuff that accumulates, you know. Um, I mean, we got a ton of just microphones, lights, and just a little equipment. That's how it goes. A whole bunch of little fitness and gym equipment. It's like, okay, sort it out. What are you keeping? What are you not keeping? A couple storage units that got to be kind of like reorganized and props and costumes and stuff like that. So this is the perfect time. If you weren't, you know, keeping it uh, in touch with your parents and your family, as much as you would like to that's the boat i was in this is the perfect time man the quarantine is showing us to just take take a little pause and just slow down and you know adjust with this new way of life you know because the handshake that's a wrap son <laughs> we ain't shaking no more hands bro nah but you will see like for every industry that is getting hit there's another industry that is picking up you know and sometimes we got to roll with the punches and evolve so like i said Amazon ain't tripping. Let's finish opening up these uh, packages. All right, this one here, I believe. Oh, don't look at my address, motherfuckers. Damn. I'm going to have to probably go back and blur that shit. Por pendejo. My wife's going to be like, why the fuck you back there opening up packages? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go back and blur that. All right, here we go. We have dun 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 dun, a book. Um, apparently the motherfuckers sent sold it to me without the uh, the little artwork on the outside. <laughs> it's called Deadliest Enemy. Woo wee. Okay, this shit right here is about viruses, bro. This cat is, if I'm not mistaken, he's like a viral scientist cdc type motherfucker he's talking about zika he's talking about sars all this shit look at chapter 13 i think he even if i'm not mistaken i think he even predicted that um the next big pandemic or whatever was going to come out of china <clears throat> so this is deadliest enemy by michael t osterholm o-s-t-e-r-h-o-l-m Holmes, orale, PhD, so chapter 13, he's talking about SARS and MERS, harbingers of things to come, and he started it with a quote, and the dawn comes up like thunder out of China, let's start that over, and the dawn comes up like thunder, outer China crossed the bay, that's a quote from Rudyard Kipling from Mandalay, I don't know what the fuck that is, um, yeah, he's talking about infectious diseases and the World Health Organization and the CDC and a whole bunch of crazy shit, Ebola and shit. So I think, um, I, I heard him on Rogan. I think he was basically saying, like, you know, we got all, we spent all this money on missiles and stuff, but um, motherfuckers weren't ready vaccine-wise. So we're going to come better out, way better a out of this because... For one, more people going to have immunity to the shit. And uh, the whole world had to focus on it. So um, when when SARS or something happened, um, people were excited about like, yo, we need to put more money into this uh, vaccine and this and that. And um, people were excited, I guess, lawmakers and people with the money and funds and budgets and shit like that. And um, apparently, 
it kind of just went away and people just stopped giving a fuck. They're just like, oh, we cool, dog. We got it. We ain't tripping. All right. Uh, next up. What the fuck we got here from Amazon? Sass. Okay, this right here is another book. You know, you got to push some, some fat on your brain in times like this. This right here is by Norman Vincent Peale. Peale, P-E-A-L-E. The Power of Positive Thinking. Uh, this book is written with the sole objective of helping the reader achieve a happy, satisfying, and worthwhile life. The Power of Positive Thinking has helped millions of men and women achieve fulfillment in their lives. In this phenomenal bestseller, Dr. Peel demonstrates the power of faith in action. With the practical techniques outlined in this book, you can energize your life and give yourself the initiative needed to carry out your ambitions and hopes. You'll learn how to expect the best and get it. Believe in yourself and in everything you do. Develop the power to reach your goals. Break the worry habit and achieve a relaxed life. Whew, I need that. Improve your personal and professional relationships. Assume control over your circumstances. Be kind to yourself. Wow. It sounds like he's hitting a whole bunch of shit. He's one of the most influential clergymen of his time. He's the author of 46 books. Let me catch up. Including the international bestseller, The Power of Positive Thinking. Dr. Peel's legacy continues today through the Peel Center for Christian Living, the outreach division of Guideposts. Uh, more than 5 million copies sold. International bestseller. Um, I heard it's like a good book about persuasion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot that could be said about, you know, properly training your mind to do certain shit, properly programming yourself to have the right habits, programming yourself to have the right routines, programming yourself to have the right systems. That way goals just becomes like pfft, whatever, dog. Like you, you're not even worried about goals. You just setting up your your routines, your habits, and your systems, <coughs> and you don't really need uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Um, you don't really need to be like uh, trying to like uh, what's the word self motivate yourself or nothing like that when you have the right habits and routines and and the disciplines and and, and it just becomes a snowball effect. Uh, let me let's open up one more. So let's not make sure we're not showing no addresses. So let's carefully open this. Speaking of addresses, um, all my patrons, I went up there and updated the Patreon app. Where now when you sign up, it already asks you, if I'm not mistaken, I need to double check. It asks you your address already off top. That way, when we want to mail you something, we ain't got to be harassing you. Like, hey, hey man, DM me your uh you know what I'm saying? So I did tell I did tell everybody like give me a shirt size. You know, we gotta take care of the patrons. Alright, we almost got this box open. Uh remind me yeah, how y'all gonna remind me? Remind me to give y'all that phone number. Where you guys can call in, chime in, shoot the shit. Okay, we have a pair of uh, Airwear Dr. Martins with bounce, bouncing soles. I didn't know they made Doc Martins with uh, bouncing soles. Um, my girl got me these. I don't know what kind of outfit she's going to piece together. I really do not know. When the tour kicks back, a la madre. What? White on white Doc Martins, dog? These shoes are known for being black. Look like they dipped them in some motherfucking leche. Tres leches in this bitch. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that, that was the last. They kind of clean, though. That was the last and final. It's like an Air Force One Doc Martin. <laughs> that was the last item. So I got some good books I need to catch up on. Uh, oh, this one's interesting. I got Man, I actually have a couple books of mine. Um, here. This right here is... Jailhouse strong, homie. This year right here got all kind of like workout advice, like chingo de burpees, you know, pinta shit, like, uh, you know, Tabatas. 
you know, y'all know about Tabatas? That's when it's like a four minute long exercise workout. And uh, you're just doing 20 seconds of intense training and then you rest for 10. Like say you jump rope for 20 and then you rest for 10 or burpees for 20, rest for 10. And um, I guess the science behind it is it does something to your heart rate to where it just it's you're keeping it up. You're taking your little quick break, but you're keeping it up. So it's like a sprint broken down into little mini sprints. And you got to be you got to do it intense. Like when I would train um, mitts and uh, boxing with a uh, crew, Bob, he's been on the podcast on the what did he said podcast, uh, which I think what I'm going to do is just take these episodes that I'm doing right here solo call it like have a beer with me or call it um me vale madre or some shit and put it on the what did he said podcast because that's where all the listeners are at so why start a whole new thing but anyway this is another little book right here and i gotta I, motherfuckers don't be knowing dog like i've been reading like i'll be having a stack of motherfucking books that i need to take to a uh, half price books and like sell them and get some money back be, uh some i finish most of them i finish some i don't some I just start getting bored towards the end or something or like this one Stranger Things. Um, it was like a spinoff. It wasn't like the show. It was like the pre story where the guy was a cop in New York. The guy that, um, that, uh, that he kind of like becomes the dad of L, the little girl. Anyway, um, I haven't been binge watching stuff. Last night, Marisol and I, we watched uh, Step Brothers because I was like, yo, we need to watch comedy. We can't be watching you know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of bloodshed and just stressful shit. You know, we get enough of that from the news. The news be trying to scare us, even though, yes, we need to be concerned. Yes, we need to be careful. But we need to always have, bitch, find a positive spin. <laughs> Did you tell them how they took a respirator and figured out how to make it nine? You ain't tell them that? No, you ain't tell them that? Um, anyway, uh, so as I was saying, I love books, man. I got all to, like, I got a whole bunch. So maybe, um, who knows? Maybe the, the the talking about books and stuff, maybe that just becomes a type of episode where we're just going to break down three and figure out. We, fuck it. We'll fuck around, do a little book club and shit. If there's one that we all kind of read together. And uh, the, sh the way the show was weeks ago, uh, I would always bring up Sapiens. That was like a running joke. Always bringing up Sapiens. But uh, just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, you know, sip a little brew. You know, hope y'all staying positive checking up on your loved ones you know trying to come out of this with a new skill like i i have so many things that i want to learn and do to make use of this time to where it's just fuck okay now the hard part is focusing like you you got time you know while my soul's watching the baby i'm out here doing this then i'm gonna take over and then she's gonna record hers so let me know what y'all are working on um I definitely want to do something like fitness related, like just be better at pull ups or I don't know how to like maybe time myself doing like a half Murph or something. And uh, Murph is like some I think CrossFit thing it was named after a fallen soldier and it, it includes running and pull ups and push ups and stuff because it'd be dope to eventually be like in shape enough to be able to like pass one of those Marine or military type of tests just to let them motherfucking know it's wartime. <laughs> <laughs> and we TTG, we train to go. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Chingo Blingo with the Big Tamarindo. We getting our sleep over here. We getting our sunshine. We getting our rest. We still taking our vitamins. We hitting these push-ups. Ah, we gonna come out of this thing better. I can't wait to go get a DEXA body scan. Get my little body fat checked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, Chingo, you know what I'm saying? You walking in this hole swole up. Like, you just did hard time in the quarantine. You heard me? So it was fun, guys. Thank y'all so much for listening, tuning in, subscribing, telling a friend. We look forward to getting back out on the road with you guys. We're looking forward to sharing all these new projects and things that we're going to tighten up, like the uh, our California trip. We broke it down like a little reality show, and we can't wait to put that out, man. It was a ton of fun. Hopefully, we can go back to L.A. this summer. We'll see how things pan out. But uh, thanks for tuning in, checking in. And, uh, and we're just checking up on y'all. I'm going to finish the rest of my beer. And you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace. Gracias.